Chuck Lieben has been working for Cisco Cleveland Incorporated for 20 years. Right now I'm responsible for operations of the warehouse on both inbound and outbound receiving. As director of warehousing, he always has his laptop computer and cell phone close at hand to stay in constant communication. A typical morning starts by getting a summary of inbound deliveries for the day and making sure they're on track. After that, I perform some administrative functions in favor of labor management, payroll, a lot of meetings at Cisco to measure where we're at and how we're performing. At some point in time then, we turn to the night shift. We take a look at what our case count looks like for the outbound, we look at the staffing, get the night shift set up, and then I'll monitor it when I'm not on the property. He says inbound merchandise is brought into the warehouse during the day, starting at 5 o'clock in the morning. We bring product in from all over the country, okay, break it down to our specs, put it in storage until it's ready to ship. Outbound, we load overnight for the next day's delivery. And actually what we're doing is we have until 6 o'clock to fill our customers' orders. At that point, we fill the orders, load the trucks, deliver them the next day. The plant runs 24 hours a day for six and a half days a week. We shut down basically and lock down the plant from Saturday night about 8, 9 o'clock when our last Saturday delivery is made. And then we will reopen the plant for outbound on Sunday in the neighborhood at 3 o'clock. According to Chuck, fulfilling the customer's needs is the most challenging part of the job, but it's also the most rewarding. We have a wide customer base. We're in Northeast Ohio with all kinds of climate challenges. And when we get special requests or concerns from a customer, when you address those and meet them, that's the most satisfying thing. Chuck says he comes from a management background, but started as an entry level supervisor. And regardless of the background you have in management, you have to learn how Cisco ships groceries. So everybody that usually comes into management here starts on our night shift because that's really the nuts and bolts of the machine. That's what drives us. So I started off on night shift, moved to days, picked up a couple of other, uh, couple other uh, positions with the company and eventually came back to the warehouse. He believes there is tremendous opportunity in this business in the future and that students can start preparing while they are still in school by focusing on math and computers. More and more, regardless of what function you're working at, whether you're in operations, whether you're a forklift operator, whether you're a driver, whatever you're doing is you're using computers. So take advantage of any type of computer training that you can get. After that, it's up to you what, what field you want to go into. Uh, finance wouldn't hurt, okay? Marketing certainly wouldn't hurt, okay? Business wouldn't hurt, any of those functions. Cisco employs all those careers. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, a storage manager's median salary is $93,180 a year.